Hello Pisces, welcome to your December general reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Pisces Sun and Rising Signs. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. For the month of December you've pulled a beginning. Your spirit animal is the butterfly which in this deck speaks about rebirth and powerful transformation. And we also have the, the card of surrender, the idea that you can fix someone. So the feeling that I'm getting around this is a choice when it comes to a, a new beginning. Something around you is getting a new chance, a new opportunity, uh, is being rebirthed, resuscitated, breathing new life into a situation. It could be a, um, it could be you. Uh, it could be a situation in which you are trying again with a, a lover or romantic partner or it could be that you're going back to a, a job or making a commitment to, to try again when it comes to a certain path in your life. Now, when it comes to fixing someone, whether that's you or another person, there's a feeling here of um, moving on. It, it feels like uh, being accountable being accountable to fix your own life rather than anyone else's, um, being held accountable for making choices that are going to transform your life. Okay. I get for a lot of my Pisces out there, it may be, um, you may have felt like you could not fix a situation. You may have felt like you, you were, it was a, you felt bogged down, you may have felt like your life was plodding along, uh, that you weren't able to fix it, but then all of a sudden something happens here. I get something inspires you, uh, you reinvent your, your life, uh, you, you change, you make powerful change in your life. Uh, there's an energy here of moving on, moving away from, and resuscitating resuscitating you for a lot of you it, it, it for you it's for a lot of my Pisces I, I get this is you rather than making something new again in your life that's external it feels like it's coming from within you but let's see here let's see it's like being we're all accountable for our own decisions of course and we should never blame others for our own choices in life and, and this is you making a powerful decision to uh, to shift your energy to make powerful movement away from a stagnant situation into something that feels that it's going to transform your life it's, it's reinventing your life um, making you feel powerful um, it feels like moving away from conflict from feeling defeated from anger into this beautiful new beginning and for some of you you might actually be physically moving as well maybe over a body of water Pisces let's see if you wouldn't mind pressing that thumbs up button guys it's super important for my channel so I thank you thank you thank you I want to thank all my Pisces for your likes shares and subscribes throughout the year and if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you subscribe Okay, we've got justice in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, it's that feeling of like the world is against me, right? Like, oh uh, gosh, I feel like everything is, is, is just working against me. Feeling put upon, uh, feeling like, uh, feeling like life is unfair, you know? Um, yeah, it is. I mean, uh, what, what can I say? That the majority of us do deal with unfair situations. Uh, we have to deal with things as they, they come along and not everything is, is, is good in life. I mean, oftentimes we, we, we are challenged and, and tested more often than we experience uh, joy and, uh, and serenity. So it's just part of life that we have to accept. Uh, we can't live in that place where we feel like um, stuck. Uh, I mean, the only people who are really in, in stuck in life are people who are physically confined, uh, jailed, uh, don't have freedom in whatever capacity that is. Maybe living in a country which 
which does not allow freedom or perhaps even physical incarceration. But for you here, Pisces, it's all about celebrating your freedom to choose, that you have choice. Um, you know, you, it may help you to look at uh, places in the world where that choice doesn't exist and then look at your own situation. It, it may help you uh, by putting yourself in another person's shoes that lacks freedom. It may give you a sense of gratitude and understanding of that, yeah, I'm grateful that I have a lot of choice. I'm grateful that I get to... Uh, that I get to move around. I'm grateful that I get to experience many different things um, in my quest for, uh, for, for, for fulfillment. Past page of wands. Yeah, there's, uh, there's youth here, there's a vibrancy, there's excitement. And then we have the ten of wands, feeling bogged down, right? Things always start well for you, Pisces, but then you tend to get a bit bored with the same old, same old. Uh, a lot of my Pisces here have a very bright mind. Uh, you, you feel very inspired, and then things get into the drudgery of life and become quite uh, mundane, maybe even a little bit boring, you know, the hard work part of things. But in, in life, you can't avoid this. You can't avoid the Ten of Wands. You really can't. Uh, you, you, we can't live in this state of the Page of Wands here where uh, this is very immature energy, somewhat childlike, lacking uh, responsibilities, just uh, going out doing our own thing. You know, we have to adult up here and, uh, and put in the hard work. And that seems to be where you're at. I feel like I'm speaking to a Pisces here that may be like... Um, 30s or 40s, you know, with where life starts to really start to feel quite um, difficult. You know, you've got bills to pay, you've got houses to pay off, you've got children to care for, all of that kind of thing. Now, in the near future, we've got the Knight of Cups. Now, this is a beautiful energy because I feel that this is what we're talking about with this butterfly as your spirit animal Pisces. This is this reinventing yourself from that more youthful energy, uh, someone who um, jumps from thing to thing quite easily. Uh, this feels more like settling down, you know, growing up, maturing, uh, changing, and loving every part of that journey, loving the part of the journey that, uh, that gets you to this more mature place. Yeah. In the past, Pisces, you may not have wanted to you may have regretted um, being older, but here it, it, it feels it feels like you're going to be very happy, uh, content, fulfilled in, in your later years, as long as you you follow the a path that is aligned with your with your soul's growth. Um, and I get for a lot of you, you, you have you're at a verge. Yeah, I get a verging off point where this Ten of Wands leads to something else. Another change. Okay. Another change. Like you, you, you may have been working at the same job for a number of years, Pisces. You may have been working really, really hard and then I get this new beginning is something that feels like a positive change in your life. Um, some of you are choosing to a new direction to go in terms of your career. Some of you are choosing a new career full stop. Some of you are choosing to create your own path. Um, some of you have an idea for a business that you might be starting up. Uh, some of you are wanting to go back to school and learn something something different. Whatever it is. I feel like it, it's, it's opening up a new pathway to you and it's going to allow you to get back that spirit that you had in, in like your late teens, early twenties of when, when you were really engaged in something, uh, really hopeful, really optimistic and uh, really creative. Um, I get you being in a a very creative phase when you're younger and then this this kind of midpoint here where everything felt a little bit like drudgery 
a little bit like um, having to do something and then getting back to a point in your later years where you're doing something again that you feel utilizes your, your talents, your abilities, your creative abilities, your skills, uh, that engages you from the heart, not, not just something that you're constantly working uh, towards every day for the money. Now Pisces, we have the Six of Cups in reverse as your best path to follow. Yeah, I feel for a lot of you it, it, it is about um, letting go of a past version of you and stepping into a more confident uh, version of you, you know, starting over, reinventing yourself. Um, I think that the happier people are in life, uh, or the happier people are just in, in general, in their day-to-day -day life is, is when they're feeling inspired, when they're feeling in that creative phase. And one way that you can really stay in that kind of energy, keeping yourself in a flow of creativity is by engaging in new things, engaging your mind in new things. Whatever that might be, you know, I'm getting a picture in my mind of someone like Richard Branson. Uh, how, do, how does he stay engaged? You know, how does he not get bored? He, well, he seems to try a whole lot of different things. It's risky, but it's also rewarding. You know, he doesn't stay, well, I've reached a certain plateau, I've, I've, I've started this store or I've started this company, I'm just going to stay with that. No, he, he starts a company and, and then he starts another one. <laughs> and then he, then he might say, well, now I want to go to the moon. Or, you know, there's something like that where you, you're meant to continue to engage your mind here, Pisces, in new activities, to, to keep yourself inspired and engaged in a creative phase. Around you is the page of coins in reverse. There's a little bit of laziness here. Mm. That's something that you're going to have to look at. I mean, you know, uh, either you want this or, or you don't, but you're going to have to be accountable for uh, the actions that, that you take or, or the inaction. You know, it's when it comes to making a choice to take action, when we've got that energy of, um, I want something new, I want a new beginning, I want to reinvent my whole life. If we, if we don't do anything about it, you know, we have to say, okay, well, that's a choice that I'm making. I'm, I'm making a choice not to do anything about it. You know? If you feel like it's something that, that you... you, <laughs> you know? uh, that's the thing. I mean, we, we talk all the time in, in tarot uh, about um, people who are stuck in, in their life and they often come to these tarot readings to get unstuck. Tarot can help and guide, but it's up to you guys to, to actually take the action. It's up to you guys to be held accountable for any action or inaction in your life. And that's what Spirit is saying here. If you feel like life is unfair, do something about it. You know, take action. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it's really about getting up and doing something about your, your situation. And then we have the Ace of Wands, beautiful. There's that return of the fire, fire in the belly, the creativity. Um, what If you had a, a, a wand of energy, if you had, uh, think of Harry Potter with his wand there. If you could say, I don't even know what he would say, but <laughs> whatever kind of magic phrase you want to say and abracadabra and make anything happen in your life, what would it be? The spirit is trying to inspire you here, Pisces, to, to get out from under this feeling of malaise that's been around you, this sense of drudgery and feeling like, oh, life is unfair and it'll never get better, to one where you shift, you shift yourself out of it. It's the only way you're going to get out of it, is by shifting yourself out of this energy and, and getting yourself into back into that place where you felt motivated about life. And for a lot of you, you're going to have to make a change in terms of your career. Uh, some of you might be moving also. Um, it, it feels like a big change. It feels like uh, reinventing uh, your whole sense of um, life here with this butterfly card. Now, 
Pisces, let's get a card from the Moonology Oracle. A message for Pisces, please. Hold your vision, yeah. That's the thing. Once you get in your mind what it is that you do want to have for you yourself in the future, how you see your how you perceive your life going in the future, then make start making the uh, the actions, the strategy, the plan for that, and then start doing it, you know, one thing at a time. Hold course, hold the vision. Now don't waver, don't doubt yourself. Once you, once you come to that place and say, I need to do something, I need to be accountable for my life, I need to make changes, stay the course. You know, don't, don't go back into this retreat mode here of feeling like, oh, well, well, uh, Nothing is ever going to change for me. It's never going to get better. That that darker kind of energy that I'm feeling around you that, that leads to procrastination, uh, that leads to an energy of not doing and uh, even a sense here of laziness that I'm feeling, Pisces. No, you, you're going to have to really pull yourself out of that and put the blinders on and really focus 100% on that that course of action that you want to take and, and don't take your eye off the ball until you get there don't be distracted by other choices by other things no once you make that choice make it and then start doing everything you can to, to bring about uh, that um, whatever it is that you want to manifest here with that ace of wands now your advice here Pisces okay am I on the right path well yeah that's the question you're gonna have to ask yourself are you on the right path with this ten of wands because I get for a lot of you it's come to a point here where you're going to veer off into another direction are you aligned with your soul's purpose a lot of you have come to this reading because you doubt you are you doubt you are but ultimately you're going to if you feel like you're not on the right path if you feel like gosh you know i don't want to be doing what i'm doing every day like this for the rest of my life spirit says be accountable start making the change in your life hold course hold vision Re you can reinvent yourself you have the power to do that But it's, it's going to have to come from you and you're going to have to maintain a sense of courage, perseverance, strength and fire to, to get this done. And, and this fiery energy, uh, Pisces, is something you're going to have to call upon, you know, because this, this watery energy is going to keep you stuck. It's going to prevent you from moving forward. So more fire is needed in the next couple of months in order for it to get you out from under uh, this this more mundane or feeling here of being burdened by life um, to get you out of that spirit is giving you the power you have the power to do that what are you going to do with that uh, if you had that magic wand if you could envision the life uh, that you want to lead in the future what would it be like what would it be like and then hold course uh, fix that in your mind and saying that's what I want to achieve here and don't stop until you do um, Pisces now anything else here advice for Pisces for the month of December please for Pisces okay what if it isn't true yeah that's it negative energy that I'm feeling and you know, what you tell yourself said well I can't do anything about this I can't fix my life spirit says yes you can so that thing that you're telling yourself the reason why you think you don't belong the, the reason why you think you can't do it the reason why you think you won't get there that you're not enough or it's not for you what if that wasn't true what if you 
you could turn off that negative thought process in your mind and turn it to one of I can instead of I can't what could be possible in your life so what lie are you telling yourself what lie do you need to let go of so that you can really go towards what is is your soul's truth here which is yes you can reinvent your life yes you can change it's not too late Pisces I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store and the link for that is down below in the description box Pisces do take a moment to press that thumbs up button before you go share me on your social media especially if you know a Pisces who this will help and if you're a newcomer I would love to have you subscribe thank you Pisces please take care have a happy healthy safe holiday period and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye for now.